hello, hello friends. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. It is very loot unboxing time once again. So obviously this is my new time filming in my dorm this semester, which is exciting. And it's my first fairy loot unboxing in my dorm. So we're going to test out how this goes. And also because life is insane, I'm a little teeny tiny bit on a time crunch. So we're just going to jump right into it. Yeah, I'm really excited. It's like eight in the morning. So if I'm not like fully energetic, it's because I don't want to wake everyone around me up. But just know I'm very, very, very excited still. This box is having like way big problems opening. Oh no, stuff. Where's the spoiler card? Ooh, ooh, ooh. There's two books in here. Um, yeah, I completely lost the spoiler card, so please bear with me for a few minutes. Alright, that took an embarrassing long amount of time, but and I totally forgot what the theme was, but the theme of August is Love Struck. So I really don't know what to expect in this box, so let's go. Ooh, so first up we have a pen. Ooh, I love my pens. Ooh, okay, so this is a stamp pen, and that's really, actually, really cool. And this is for Caraval. And no, I really don't have plans to read Caraval, but yes, I'm keeping this pen because I love book pens. And then, because they caught my attention and they're really pretty, I don't recognize them off the back, and yeah, we're just going to go with it. So the tarot cards this month are Ace of Pentacles, and he's looking very kind. And two of pen and two of pinnacles, and she's very pretty, very pretty indeed. So where are they from? It looks like there's a pentagon. So who are y'all? Who are you? Oh, they're Caraval still. Okay. Um, so I have like two guesses. So um I'm guessing Julian and Scarlet. If they're not those two, I don't know who they could possibly be. So these are really pretty. I like these. Okay, so this is a palette for stationery and like annotating and stuff. This is from Rivers of Blood by Rivers of Blood by Amanda Joy, and I've not heard of this book. But the quote is, the world is wild with untamed things. And I I really like this. And then um, we love Fairy Loot because they gave me not one, but two pretty books this month. So this is After Love by, what's it called? I just read the, mm, Tanya Bryn. So one of the girls dies and in the afterlife, she gets an invitation. She can't de decline to join a fierce clan of girls who re of girl reapers who take the souls of the city's dead to await their fate. And she also can't forget her first love and she would do anything to see her again. Intriguing. Very intriguing. And this is also like very, very pretty. So, also um, the inside of this is like really pretty. So, good to know. And then because I can't get enough stuff. <laughs> what, is this what I think it is? Hold up, is this what I think it is? So this is something I've been desperately wanting. And this is a pen banner. <laughs> I love that. I love that. I might hang this in my dorm room, not gonna lie. This is gonna look very pretty. And this is inspired by These Violent Delights by the Queen Chloe Gong. And I can see it. At first I didn't, but now I see how this is inspired by it. So I am just gonna hang this and be very happy with my life. So there is supposed to be another thing in this box. However, I don't have it, but I think I remember them saying that one of the items was back ordered. So I'm sure I'll get it in the future. And when I get it in the future, I will let all of you know. But now the moment we've been waiting for, I've been waiting for. I read the spoiler card, so I had guessed what this book was by the description they posted months back when they were saying what the book was. But I'm very, very excited to see how they did this book because the original cover was very pretty on its own. So I'm very excited to see what they've done. Ooh, 
Ooh, they've never used this color before. And if they have, I've not been around for it. Oh, uh, this is gonna be very autumn-y. I can already guess. I can already tell it's gonna be very autumn-y. Oh, that's really pretty. Okay, the art alone is gonna make me wanna read this book. And as soon as I see uh, uh, uh. Alright, so here is a little book. <gasps> okay, I just saw the stencil there. Just... Uh, oh my gosh. Uh, uh. Okay, this is the most autumn book I own us at the moment. This are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, so the back, before I say anything else. So this is These Hollow Vows by Lexi Ryan. And so the back of this says, the king was right about one thing. I am a great thief. I can steal just about anything. But a fairy prince's heart, I wouldn't know where to start. <laughs> well, hello there. I'm not even gonna lie, I wasn't like really excited for this book, but you bet I am now. I don't know where to start gushing about this book. <sighs> Is this not the most autumn book you guys have ever seen? Um, excuse me, who allowed you to be this beautiful? Oh my goodness. And of course, I've not like really ever shown you guys, but here's the signature. And there's a really pretty sun. And now, are you ready? Are you guys ready for this artwork? Because there's not one, not two, but three pretty people. And also, um, I just can't get over, it's so pretty. So, cause I really don't remember the description except that it's like Holly Black-esque fairy world. I'm just gonna read it. <laughs> Go to the Seely Court, find the queen's secret portal to enter the most dangerous place in fairy, find my sister and rescue her from a power hungry king. Child's play. They would do anything before making a deal with the Fae. Death is preferable to their vicious schemes. But when her sister is taken by this sadistic king of the unseelie court, there is nothing for you wouldn't do to get her back, including making a deal with the king himself to steal three magic relics from the rival Seelie court. Gaining unfettered access to the Seelie court is easier said than done. Bree's only choice is to pose as a potential bride for Prince Ronan, the Seelie prince who's not quite as wicked as she once thought. Unwilling to let her heart distract her, she accepts help from a band of unseelie misfits with their own secret agenda. But as Bree spends time with their mysterious leather friend, she finds herself struggling to resist his seductive charm. Caught between two dangerous courts, Bree must decide who to trust with her loyalty and with her heart. And the very front of this says, a heart is a dangerous thing to steal. Alright, alright, this is autumn pop vibes all the way. And just before I fork it. Here is really, really pretty artwork. I love this. And this is also the author's notes. So I will read that for my own time. But I just, this, everything about this book is so autumn. I can't deal. And also here's the bookmark. I love this little collection of bookmarks I have going. I'm obsessed with that book, you guys. I am obsessed with that book cover. That is beautiful, show-stopping, never been seen before. All right. Favorite thing, favorite thing. This is very hard, not gonna lie. The book, I'm, I'm reeling from the book. I don't know how to choose anything else. But I guess I have to pick. Just because it's very pretty and I know I'm gonna use it a lot, I'm going with the pouch for stationery and all that because I love journaling. I love tapping books right, occasionally. Not this book, obviously, but yeah. Hello friends, Kayla from the feature popping in to say congratulations, you get a double unboxing. Because literally, um, when I'm filming this, my August one hasn't even been edited, and my September one just came in, so I figured, why not put them both in here? So that will be why there's an outfit change, and yeah, surprise past Kayla, you're doing great, and... Let's get back to it. It's go time. Also, this video works really well because one of my August items came in this one and I snuck a peek so I could do a boomerang on Instagram and it is in here. So I'm gonna just show that first before I actually unbox the September box. Cool, cool. All right, so the August thing that didn't come in my August box was a tray inspired by Cemetery Boys. And here it is. It's just, October vibes, everyone, because it is October 3rd, so just, <laughs> and the quote here is, it wasn't the end, it was a better beginning, and I like that. <laughs> the 
the first item in this box that I am so hyped about. Curves and cream socks. <laughs> These are just stunning. These are just stunning. I love them. The book club at my school right now is currently reading Six Trips and Cranes, so I might just show these socks to them and let them lose their marbles. I've actually lost a spoiler card. Spoiler card is MIA. Okay, I'm super sorry everyone. The spoiler card was literally MIA. It was underneath everything, but this is our card this month, and it is Uprising. So I'm very intrigued. Um, I saw one book, there's two books in this one. So I saw one of them, I saw one already, but I don't remember what the second one is. Like I'm sure there's a description, but I don't think I knew what it was gonna be either when I read it. So I'm intrigued, I'm intrigued. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I've never been so grateful for a decision I didn't make in my life. Um, yeah, I just I just saw what the book is. I'm currently losing my crap right now because there's no way I'm that lucky. There's no way I'm this lucky. All right, so before we get there, we have a card holder inspired by The Prison Healer. And in case you don't know, The Prison Healer was a previous fairy loop book back in April, and I read it in August, and it's one of my favorites I've read this year. <laughs> so excited for the sequel to come out and it's literally one of my favorite series right now i think so um i owe everything to fairy loot i owe everything to fairy loot i owe everything to fairy loot you guys it's a card holder inside of the prison healer this is so clever and the fabric is actually really really good and I'm currently losing my mind right now. I'm losing my mind. This is so cool. Oh my goodness, Fairy Loop has like outmatched everything for this box right now. And then next we have an enamel pin. I love myself a good enamel pin. And it kind of got through the wrapping, but that's completely fine by me. Ooh. So um, on this edition of Fairy Loop pins, a book I've not read, but are super pretty, so I'm keeping them. We have this one from An Ember in the Ashes. It's gorgeous. And it says, Emifal Feridon, may death claim me first. So like I mentioned earlier, there are two books in this box. One of them, currently losing my crap over. The second one is one I was not expecting, but I know of it and I'm very intrigued to read it. And this edition is pretty pretty. This is Beast of Prey. The description is really interesting, but it wasn't on my radar in particular, but you know what? Um, maybe I will. There's no super braid edges like last month's, but there is this really pretty cover change. I really kind of like the colors here. So, um, the description for this one is, because that was once a country of magic, now magic is nothing more than a myth. So, basically, it's about a zoo of magical beasts, and somehow magic comes into play, and two people are going on an adventure, and it sounds very intriguing, actually. Alright, so the next item, I genuinely don't know what it is. I haven't looked at the spoiler card for any of this because I've kind of like, you know, the fandoms, but I don't, I don't actually know this one off the top of my head. So let's, I feel like it's strange to dreamer. If I'm right, I'm going to be so proud of myself, but, um, ooh, great. Okay. Uh, there is no way this is going to be in the frame, but <laughs> it's very pretty though. Can you see the zoom? <laughs> yes. I'm in a very awkward one right now, but it's fine. It's actually very pretty. I really like it. It's very detailed and it's very soft. I don't know what it is though. Okay, so it's a tapestry. I gathered that. That's really cool. I don't know the characters off the top of my head, so I doubt I've read it. Daughter of Smoke and Bone. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. I'm taking a guess this is still Carval, but they may have switched. So before I show you, let me see what they are. I have never heard of that character ever. All right, on this edition of Carval Tarot Cards, I think we're last. So. We have Jax, who, from what I've seen, is the fan favorite of the series, and this dude I never heard of called The Falling Star. Interesting. So yeah, haven't read it. They're very pretty, but I haven't read it. Yeah, I've, I've literally never heard of anyone talk about this character ever. Or maybe I have, and it's a different name. I don't actually know. Okay, you guys, um, if I start crying on camera, this time it's a real possibility I will cry on camera because this book is one of the most anticipated releases for the back half of the year. 
And I was just not expecting it. I was not expecting this book. And I'm just so happy. This is also like one of my favorite authors. So I'm just, oh my gosh. I'm so happy, you guys. All right, you, I think you'll all, I think you all have a guess. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> I can't defy the night. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is the first time Fairy Loot has given me a book, I Want More Than Life. So now I have the edition of pre-ordered, which finally came in, and I have this Fairy Loot edition. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, so we have, I don't think the cover has changed too much, but we have, oh, ribbon bookmark. We have purple sprayed edges and a ribbon bookmark. I'm so happy about that. Oh. Did you guys see the spine crack just now? Oh my god. And it's signed. I have a signed edition of one of my favorite authors. This is not real, you guys. I'm so happy. We have these really pretty end pages. And um, I'm genuinely going to cry. Ooh, hello, sir. Oh, that's so pretty. Okay, um, this book about the dust jacket actually slays. This is so pretty. This is really pretty. Very simple, but I really like it. Okay, so you slay. You're beautiful. Thank you. And now, part one of the fan art, everyone. <laughs> They're beautiful. Okay, um, I'm guessing one of them is Tessa, because I think Tessa is the main character. And this dude, not completely sure, because I don't actually know who's who, but I'm excited. Oh my god. This is so pretty. So pretty. And I love the red-blue color scheme here. And uh, she's gorgeous. Love that for her. And then we also, oh, her note is tight. So cool. And then these same beauties are right here again. So I think it's the same art, but on a card. And I honestly really like that. Most of the authors have signed, like are signed. So I really have a hard time reading them, but this one is fully typed. So very easy to read and I'm so happy. I have a Bridget Kimmerer note. Oh my gosh, you guys. All right, so I'm wondering if the guy is Wes because she talks about Wes and Tessa together a lot. So I, I'm taking a guess, and if I'm wrong, roast, it's fine. But I think this is definitely Tessa. I knew this was Tessa, but this might be Wes. I don't know. There's like three guys in the series. There's Wes, Prince Corrick, and King Harrison. So love that. But this was inspired by like Outlaw, so like Zorro, Robin Hood, and there's Drinking of Magical Flowers, so low-key tangled. I don't think a fairly experience is ever going to top that. Because that's literally everything I ever wanted. And I'm so happy I didn't buy a different special edition because now I have this one. And it's kind of more simple than all the others, but I just, I love it anyway because that's just so cool to me. We also have the card. The card, everyone. The, this is not a card. This is a bookmark. The bookmark, everyone. And then our next theme on the spoiler. The next theme is Broken Heart. So I know Jack is, is going to come in here somewhere. Also, um, if I have not read Kingdom of the Wicked by the end, by the time this next box comes, I'm going to be really mad because I need to. <laughs> oh, for those of you who are like, okay, so the next box has a Kingdom of the Wicked thing, so like, I really, this box will have a blanket. I've always wanted a blanket. <laughs> I cannot think of the bo book off the top of my head that they'll probably feature with this. All right, um, favorite item, favorite item. There was a lot of good items in this box. For me personally, I really like this box a lot. Um, um, not even gonna lie, I lost my mind for it. So um, the socks of Crips and Crane were a close second, but um, literally cannot deal with this. Literally cannot deal. I love it. And of course, the book. So yeah, um, thank you so much for watching this double unboxing video. I didn't plan on making it that, but I'm kind of glad I did. If you wanna see more of me, please consider hitting the subscribe button. I would love to have you join this bookish community I have here, my infinite. I love you all. And please remember to leave a like and a comment because I want to chat with you guys. And if you don't know what to comment, tell me your favorite item in this box. Tell me if, if you have been looking forward to Defy the Night. Anything at all you want, just or even just tell me what a really good book you read recently is. I'd love to chat with you guys, so please leave a comment. And if you want to find me outside, my social medias are linked below. Until next time, I'm Kate. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!